Big news from space today. NASA says an asteroid sample it obtained contains the building blocks for life. The findings may help answer a question we've always had. Are we alone? NBC's Tom Costello has more. Take a look at a time capsule from an ancient solar system. The rock and dust on the edge of that canister are from an asteroid named Bennu, a billion miles away. And here's where it gets really cool. Inside the rocks and dust, researchers have already detected traces of carbon and water, the building blocks of life. We are trying to find out who we are, what we are, and did asteroids provide the basic ingredients for Earth four billion years ago? And touchdown of the OSIRIS-REx sample return capsule. The capsule returned to Earth two weeks ago after a mission that had the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft landing on that asteroid, then drilling down to collect a sample, leaving behind a contrail of dust and debris. In a sterile lab, researchers haven't even opened the sealed sample. The outside container was already covered in asteroid debris. Jackpot. We picked the right asteroid. And not only that, we brought back the right sample. Here's why. Look here. These are close-ups from an electron microscope that has detected clay minerals with water locked inside. Water in an asteroid. That is how we think water got to the Earth making our world habitable. Once NASA opens its nearly nine ounce sample, it plans to share it with researchers around the world and save some for future scientists who haven't yet even been born, but may one day wonder, why is it that we're here, we're alive, we're conscious? It's such a gift that I hope everybody really stops and thinks about it every once in a while. Okay, but wait, if asteroids actually did kickstart the Earth, and if there are trillions of planets out there, what are the chances that happened to some of them, too? And if that's true... E.T. phone home? E.T. phone home. Maybe there's a whole universe of E.T.'s out there. Maybe so. Uh, that was Tom Costello reporting. NASA also hopes to use some samples to learn how to better defend Earth from an asteroid. The agency says the more we understand them, the more we can learn about what it takes to move one out of a collision course with the planet. The spacecraft that brought that sample is now on its way to another asteroid.